Bonjour à tous, uh, good afternoon for everyone in Indonesia and good morning for the one in France. A very warm welcome for all of you to the seminar of Paritex. So this will be explaining about cara jitu mendaftar tujuh sekolah teknik ternama di Prancis. So firstly, I would like to appreciate for all the participants from Indonesia and from France and for all of the world that is with us today in this platform and for all the speakers that has given the time to explain and to present about Paritech and especially as well for our colleague in Asito France Indonesia that has um, prepared this event. I am Hidaya, the person in charge of Campus France Medan as the team of Campus France Indonesia. Today, I will be the moderator of the session. The session will be divided into three sections. Firstly, will be the introdu introduction and the presentation of Paritech, and it will, be led, it will be led by my colleague, Mas Masin Talib. Next, there will be the presentation of the scholarship opportunities from French government and Indonesian government that will be presented by me. And lastly, will be the discussion session. So this, uh, in this discussion session, you will uh, feel free to ask about your question related to your preparation to study in France, especially in engineering studies in Paritex. Since we have all of the responsible person and all of the representative from seven Grand Nicole from Paritech, feel free to ask all of the questions related to the program and the university that you are intended to apply for this uh, for the academic year in 2022. So without having more time to waste, I will give the time, the platform to my colleague, Mas Masin Talib, to present about the representative of Paritech as well as to give the presentation. Mas Masin, Mas Masin Talib, the platform is yours. Thank you, Hidaya. Welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Masin, and I work at IFI. I will be your moderator today. I will start by introducing uh, our guest speakers, uh, Mr. Pierre Baladi, Director of International Relations, uh, Institute d'Optique Graduate School, Paritech Asian Admission Board President. Mrs. Jeanne Béran, International Relations Officer, Agro Paritech. Mr. Feti Bediwi, Director of International Relations, Chimie Paritech PSL. Mr. Ricardo Lobo, Director of International Relations, ESPCI Paris PSL. Mrs. Laura Villette, uh, who will be presenting today, Director of Paritech in Asia. Mrs. Yuan Yuan Shen, Program Officer, Paritech China. And before continuing, we will first start by watching a short video on engineering studies in France. Les sciences de l'ingénieur sont un des domaines d'excellence de l'enseignement supérieur français. Elles permettent aujourd'hui à plus de 800 000 ingénieurs de travailler dans des domaines aussi variés que le génie civil, l'informatique, l'aéronautique, l'agronomie, l'électronique, les transports, la santé, l'énergie, l'intelligence artificielle ou la défense. Vous avez un profil scientifique Vous êtes attiré par les technologies et aimez travailler en équipe si vous souhaitez exercer un métier qui permettra de répondre aux défis du monde contemporain, les sciences de l'ingénieur sont faites pour vous. La France vous offre plusieurs options. Tout d'abord, vous pouvez préparer un BTS ou un DUT qui vous donnera en deux ans une spécialisation technique. Vous pouvez aussi choisir de préparer les concours des écoles d'ingénieurs en intégrant une classe préparatoire aux grandes écoles ou une prépa intégrée. L'université vous offre, elle, la possibilité de préparer une licence généraliste en trois ans ou une licence professionnelle en un an dans la filière sciences, technologie, santé. Pour le niveau master, vous aurez deux possibilités. Soit de préparer en deux ans un master en ingénierie dans une université, soit de préparer en trois ans un diplôme d'ingénieur dans une école d'ingénieur accréditée par la CPI. C'est un diplôme national de haut niveau avec une forte dimension managériale, technique et internationale. Il existe plus de 70 universités et plus de 200 écoles d'ingénieurs en France. Elles sont regroupées au sein de la CPU, de la CDFI et de la CGE. Certaines écoles d'ingénieurs sont généralistes, d'autres spécialisées. 
à vous de choisir le domaine qui vous intéresse. Enfin, si vous avez déjà un master ou un diplôme d'ingénieur, vous pouvez préparer un doctorat. Une trentaine d'écoles doctorales sont spécialisées dans les sciences pour l'ingénieur. Chaque année, 20 000 étudiants étrangers font le choix des études d'ingénieur à la française. Venez les rejoindre. C'est la garantie d'obtenir un profil très recherché des entreprises et de s'engager vers une carrière passionnante en France ou à l'international. À bientôt en France Before giving the floor to ParisTech, just a reminder, uh, we will have some time at the end of this webinar uh, to answer your questions. Uh, so please use the chat box if you want to ask questions. We'll come back to them uh, at the end of the webinar. Mrs. Laura Villette, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. I will share my screen. Uh, can you, is it okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, I would like to thank you all for being here today and especially for uh, the French Embassy to invite us uh, to this seminar. Today, I will start with an introduction on ParisTech, then I will talk more about the ParisTech International Admission Program. So yeah, and please, my colleagues from ParisTech, don't hesitate to cut me or uh, add more to what I'm saying if needed. So what is ParisTech? ParisTech is the alliance of uh, the most prestigious graduate schools in engineering and science in France. Uh, we work together, all seven schools work together around um, uh, key uh, missions. Um, our main mission is to train uh, leaders that can break down scientific and technological barriers to tackle major challenges, and in particular, global warming and sustainable development. Uh, all schools share um, strong values. Um, our values are excellence, openness as a lever uh, for growth, innovation, and solidarity. Um, I'm sorry because my screen is cut in half. Um, so ParisTech is uh, seven schools, seven schools, uh, grandes écoles in engineering and science, Agro ParisTech, Art et Métier, Chimie ParisTech PSL, École des Ponts ParisTech, ESPCI Paris PSL, Institut d'Optique, and Mine ParisTech. Uh, the seven schools are located on three different campuses. Two of them are part of Université ParisTech University. Three of them are part of PSL University. Uh, one of them is part of SM University. And the last one, Ecole des Ponts Paris Tech, is Paris East uh, University. Altogether, the schools count uh, 12,500 students, um, more than uh, 1,500 professors. Um, they have more than 70 international agreements, um, a lot of partner companies, uh, more than 120. And uh, more importantly, they have a very strong alumni network, counting more than 90,000 alumni. The Paritech schools have a very long, uh, a very long history. The oldest one uh, is 17, uh, was created in 1747, Ecole des Ponts. The youngest one was uh, founded in 1917. And all of them were founded to answer uh, the needs of the French industry. So that's why the names uh, Ecole des Ponts means the, the um, what is that? Uh, the bridge, the school of bridges. Uh, Mine Paritech is mine, etc. So the names, uh, the, that's the, the, the specialty of the schools where they were founded was obviously at the start to build bridges for Ecole des Ponts or for mining with uh, Ecole des Mines Paritech. But nowadays, uh, they are much more comprehensive and don't only do what their name says they're doing. Our schools have a long tradition of scientific excellence. Uh, so you, they count a few Nobel Prizes. Uh, the most famous one, and you probably all know, uh, such as Pierre and Marie Curie or uh, Ilien et Frédéric et Irène Joliot Curie, or um, Georges Charpak in physics or Maurice Allais in economics. So you can see them all here. Um, so they not only count uh, Nobel Prizes, but a lot of um, people that really left a mark in history. I'm not gonna 
maybe read it all, but uh, you know, either you probably heard of them directly or you heard of them uh, through, um, um, through their uh, discoveries or through their creations, such as um, Felix Strom, the pioneer of solar energy, or Bernard Meknes, um, who was an engineer who invented the progressive lenses for vision correction. So even if you don't know him, you probably know progressive lenses. Fulgence Bienvenue for Ecole des Ponts Paris Tech, who was the chief engineer for the, Met, uh, the Paris subway, et cetera, et cetera. The strengths of uh, the Paris Tech uh, network, first of all, is the fact that uh, our schools are strongly internationalized, counting 70% uh, of international students uh, coming from uh, more than 70 different countries. As I said before, our schools count uh, 70 agreements with international partner universities. Another uh, strong um, point of our school is their permanent connections uh, with companies. So uh, as I said before, 120 uh, partner companies, uh, more than uh, one third of doctoral programs in our schools are founded by uh, these companies and we count 58 teaching and uh, research chairs. Um, and these translate into partnerships uh, such as uh, the Sustainable Mobility Institute uh, with research on electric mobility systems in partnership with uh, Renault, which you probably know is a, a big uh, car manufacturer, French car manufacturer, uh, or the lab uh, research environment with Vinci Paris, another big French company, etc. Paritech uh, and its schools also strongly uh, are very attached to innovation and entrepreneurship. Um, we are committed to supporting and implementing, implementing entrepreneurship and innovation projects in our schools and thus contribute to developing uh, innovative companies. Um, more than uh, 700 uh, projects were incubated in our schools among which 80% have been existing for more than five years. Um, to do so, there is a network of incubators in our schools. You have a, a list here of some of the incubators. Um, the companies uh, that are uh, the, the, the partner companies of Paritech and its schools, you can see some of the logos here. Most of them you probably know as they are quite big. Um, you probably all know L'Oréal or Air, Air France or Total, NG, etc. So that uh, some of the, the, the biggest partners of our schools. And of course, our alumni also are key players of the economic world as they often you will find them uh, at the head of the, 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 the biggest French uh, multinationals. Here we have a few, a few, a few of them, and I will not uh, cite them all. You, I will let you look at the slide, then move on to the next one. Um, as I said before, we are strongly attached to innovation and to incubating uh, successful startups. So here are a few of the startups that were incubated uh, in Paritech schools. Um, you'll see that um, there are startups in all fields. Uh, Alan is a health insurance, online health insurance. Uh, Deezer is music online. Uh, Damai is doing diagnosis for skin cancer. So the startups launched in Paritech schools incubators, uh, um, so the, the, the scope or their activity is quite broad. As I mentioned before, um, another strength of Paritech is the is its uh, alumni alum, sorry alumni network, counting ninety thousand alumni coming from seven the, all the, the seven schools of Paritech. Thirteen countries have their own alumni group, so we hope that in the future maybe there will be a, a Paritech alumni group in Indonesia as well. Uh, in China, where we have been for present for more than 20 years and recruiting for more than 20 years. We count around uh, 3,000 alumni locally. And all these alumni groups also work in 
thematic groups uh, such as business, innovation, energy, finance, etc. So we do hope that in the future we will see you uh, among the 90 plus thousand of our alumni. And sorry, what? Okay. So now that I've introduced Paritech uh, a bit quickly, I will introduce you how to study at Paritech. So first of all, um, we'll few words about the French higher education system. Um, French higher education system, when it's at a university level, is um, three years a bachelor degree, two years master of science, and then uh, you can go on to a three-year um, doctoral degree. Um, but as when it comes to the French French Grandes Écoles of Engineering, uh, there is another way of accessing it. It's through preparatory classes. It's a two-year program that ends with a competitive exam, allowing you to enter the, uh, the French Grandes Écoles of Engineering. Um, so you, two years of prep class, and then uh, the degree is obtained in three years, and it also allows you to go on to uh, a PhD. And the Paritech International Programs, a program aims at recruiting students uh, for the last two years of the Master of Science in Engineering, the Diplôme d'Ingénieur. So what's the, what's the particularity of the, the, the French uh, engineering school? It, first of all, it's highly selective schools. Uh, and lead and they lead to 100% uh, employability. It's very selective because, uh, first of all, uh, when the um, French students take their A level and choose to go through preparatory class, only around 7% of them will be accepted into preparatory classes. Then uh, once they take uh, the, the exam at the entrance exam at our schools, only around 5% of this 7% will be admitted into a Paritech school for an engineer, a Master of Science in Engineering, the Diplôme d'Ingénieur. So as it's uh, very selective, usually it leads to 100% uh, employability because the uh, graduates are very sought after by, by, um, by companies. But some of the, our students also um, pursue and uh, to a PhD. Um, from 10 to 70 percent, that depends uh, on the school usually. Um, the French engineering schools train uh, multicultural engineers, uh, entrepreneurs, and managers that are able to adapt uh, to various professional environments and, most impo importantly, to address social challenges uh, based on their SNT skills, uh, based on their SNT skills and solutions. The Diplôme d'Ingénieur is a very comprehensive education. So uh, you will have an excellent SNT research-based education in mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, and or computer science. But not only, you will also have courses in economics, management, entrepreneurship, communication in foreign languages. And the schools will also allow you to develop uh, your soft skills and professional skills through multidisciplinary studies, um, teamwork, internships, and projects. Um, that leads to high, um, high quality research-based education addressing social and environmental challenges. But here you have to know that the, um, the curricula is taught mostly in French. So um, not now, but if you're admitted into one of our schools, you will have to learn French. And usually for the visa, uh, the BE level or sometimes a B2 level is required for, uh, for coming to our schools. Um, so the teaching methods in our schools are also innovative and high quality. So it's a mix of theory and practices. So you will have courses, but you will also have a lot of practical exercises. We do insist also on teamwork. Um, as such, you will uh, sometimes work in, uh, in projects. Projects may be individual or group projects. You will be asked to do internships in companies and or in a lab 
um, internships may go from two months to six months. You will be, uh, you will have an initiation to research. And of course it includes also uh, an international mobility. Um, the particularity of the teaching uh, faculty is that it brings together uh, both professors and experts from company. Uh, since the number of students that are admitted in our school is uh, very limited, it enables, uh, enables students that are admitted to have a personalized curriculum and to have small groups of students, and most importantly, to have a student to faculty ratio that's, uh, that's pretty good because it's five students for one teacher. As I said before, there are strong links with companies in our schools, and there is a reason why there are strong links with companies in our schools. Um, because you will have throughout your studies uh, in the Baritech school, uh, you have, you'll have compulsory internships. Um, you will work on s and projects that are proposed by companies. Uh, you will have meeting with companies. To, they will introduce you uh, the jobs within the company. You will discuss with alumni working in companies. Uh, companies also uh, might sponsor, uh, sponsor a class for uh, visits or for skills and sponsorship. Um, there are also entrepreneurship tracks or modules. Um, there's the possibility in our schools to do an apprenticeship. Uh, that means you are uh, half working in a company and half studying. Uh, and last, con uh, companies also contribute to the strategic decisions of the schools um, as some of the executive uh, executive board members. Um, the chairman of Paleo is a, a board member of Mean Paritech PSL. Uh, the CEO of FH is a board member of Ecole des Ponts Paritech. And the chairman of Ar ArcelorMittal uh, is a board member of RMIT. Uh, Paritech schools are all very engaged towards um, sustainability. Uh, all our schools aim at training engineers with a sense of responsibility towards sustainable development goals. Uh, we aim at tackling uh, sustainable development challenges. Uh, each school apply it to, of course, their specialty domain. So it goes on from sustainable city, life sciences, affordable and clean energy, clean water, industry, responsible prediction, etc. cetera. Um, Paritech schools also are uh, strongly committed to working on quality education, um, gender, gender equality, reducing inequalities through common work commissions and institutions. Uh, and there are also a lot of students uh, associations and initiatives uh, for sustainable development and numerous labs working on tackling sustainable mobility challenges in all schools. I also welcome women uh, in, in schools. Uh, you'll see that the average in France uh, of the female uh, women students uh, is 28%. The average in Paritech is 35%. Uh, some of the schools even have more women than uh, men, uh, such as uh, Agro-Paritech and some other rich, uh, perfect uh, gender equality, such as Chimie Paritech. And there is a continuous effort uh, uh, of our schools in favor of women in engineering. So we support young girls in high schools. There are exhibitions uh, in our schools. Uh, there are also workshops or informative sessions for uh, female students. And there's always psychological support uh, available and all schools fight against um, harassment. Why choose friends? Why would you choose friends to go study? First of all, because friends um, is excellent in s and and economics. Uh, it's the sixth power in the world and uh, it counts uh, leading international companies. Uh, Paris is also a very dynamic uh, region, economically wise, has a lot of companies, high employability rate, numerous R&D centers. 
The French, uh, France is also recognized for it, the excellence of its higher education system. It's the fifth de destination in the world for international students. There are scholarships and support for international mobility. Uh, and the tuitions, tuition fees uh, in France are lower than in uh, most of the Western countries. France is also an SP leader worldwide. Uh, it's the country of mathematicians. Um, it also is excellent in a lot of domains, uh, such as chemistry, civil engineering, physics. As I said before, it counts a lot of Nobel, a lot of Nobel prizes, but also field medals. And we have a world famous research organization, such as the CNRS, uh, in RAE, in CERN, CEA. Then, of course, France is the country of culture. Um, it's the country of uh, art, romanticism, impressionism, surrealism, food. So we do highly value the quality of uh, life in France. It's also a country with values such as freedom, inclusion, cosmopolitanism, uh, critical thinking, a strong att attachment to science and innovation. Um, and France plays also a key role in uh, ecological transition and climate, climate change. Um, but France is also the country of French. So why is learning French interesting? Yeah. Because it's the official language of more than 300 million people in the world. It's the fifth language in the world. And it's the fifth most important language for business in the world after English and Mandarin Chinese. And why would you choose more specifically Paris where most where our schools are located is because also again uh, of the economics uh, Paris counts uh, more than 800,000 companies uh, one third uh, of foreign companies in France are located in Paris it's the head Paris is the headquarter for 29 of the 500 biggest international companies um, taking the third place worldwide after Beijing and Tokyo um, Paris is also one of the best, uh, the world's best student universities, uh, cities, sorry, uh, and last because 40% uh, of national investment in research and development uh, is made in Paris. It's the first European uh, region in terms of uh, investment in research and development. Now we'll talk, uh, concentrate more on the, the Paris Tech Graduate Engineering Schools. So uh, here is a list uh, from A to Z of all the specialties, uh, but it's uh, you might find in, in our schools, it's not a full list, but we made it from A to Z. So you, if you're interested in studying s and and engineering, you're bound to find um, your specialty here. Paritech schools also have uh, very good uh, rankings worldwide, be it through uh, the university they belong to, uh, universe, Cycle University or uh, PSL University. Some of them are ranked on their own. So you'll see here that um, Paris Cycle, uh, of which AgroParisTech and Institute of Tech uh, members is uh, number 14 in the, the, the Shanghai ranking. Uh, PSL University uh, still in the Shanghai ranking is number 36. Um, three schools are, are a member of PSL, as I said before, Shimi, ESPCI, and Min Paris Tech. And here you'll find uh, the ranking by subjects. So sometimes uh, it's the school by itself or it's the university it belongs to, but the rankings are all top rankings. I'm sorry if you hear a cat behind me. It's my cat, actually. Um, so the Paris Tech International Admission Program. I will start with who should apply to the International Admission Program. So the applicant's um, profile. First of all, uh, not not students from not all countries in the world can apply to this admission program you should be from one of the following countries so today you all are since you're from indonesia uh, 
but you can come uh, for all the following regions of country, including Indonesia, you can come from any university. Uh, we, you don't have to come from a partner university to apply to the Paritech International Admission Program. You can uh, scan here uh, if you want, or you can just uh, remember this address. You will find all the information on the Paritech International Admission Program on this webpage. So first of all, you should be coming from one of these countries. So today, all of you come from one of these countries. Um, then the second prerequisite is excellence uh, because it is a highly selective uh, competition. Um, you, you will have to have successfully completed at least six semesters of a bachelor degree uh, in science, uh, in engineering, or in economics. If you come from an economics background, you will need a strong background in mathematics. Um, at your home university by September 2021. So right now you should be in your third year of bachelor degree going on to your fourth year of bachelor degree. You should of course have excellent academic records. You will be asked uh, your academic records when you apply to the, to the program. Your level in mathematics and physics should be excellent. Uh, and of course, you should uh, prove that you're proficient in courses that are significant to the domain or the schools you're applying, the school you're applying to. Um, for instance, chemistry or biology. You should have good command of written and spoken English. The whole admission process uh, is done in English, but it, and there is a scientific test that needs to be taken, so you better understand. Uh, the, capable of reading and understanding the questions in English, then you will be, you will also have um, uh, an interview and the interview will be conducted in English as well. So you need to speak good English. Um, last, uh, we don't ask of um, applicants to speak French when they apply, but you should be ready to learn it before you go to France if you're admitted into Paritech schools, because as I said before, the curriculum is taught in French. To make it easier to understand, uh, we made this. Um, so right now we are uh, in the application process. So application process starts in uh, June 2021. It started the, 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 the platform for application open on the 1st of June 2021. And it will be open until June, uh, sorry, September 21st, 2021. So that's when you apply uh, online, uh, you apply online. Then started, um, maybe I will give you the, the agenda a bit later. Uh, then you will have the selection procedure, uh, test interview and jury. And um, by November, you should know if you're at the end of November, you will know if you're admitted or not. And uh, during your last year of bachelor, uh, you will have to learn French to be able to start in the second year of the Diplôme d'Ingénieur. And you will go on for the second and the third year of the Diplôme d'Ingénieur and obtain a degree at the end of these two years. Here are, to make it easier for you maybe to know uh, the school better, uh, here is the list of the Paritech schools and their specialty. So you'll see that some of the schools uh, are more specialized, some of the schools are more comprehensive. It really depends on what, uh, what you're interested in too. But when you apply to the Paritech admission, international admission program, if you don't know yet which school you want to go to, it's okay. But still, we strongly advise you to have a look at uh, the Paritech website, of course, and to check the introduction on each school then to go on each school website to know better if uh, it fits what you want to study or not. So uh, concerning the calendar and the steps to apply to the Paritech International Admission Program, as I said before, you can. there are two websites that you can use. Um, one is Paritech. So you, here you will find an introduction on all the Paritech schools. You can, uh, you can find it here. And then if you want to have um, more information about the international admission program, then you go on studywithus.paristech.fr. 
and here you will have all the information um, concerning the, the international admission program. And for Indonesia, you will have to click on here, Asia. And of course, if you want to have, be regularly uh, be updated about what's going on with the international admission program, you can follow our social network accounts. Uh, we'll give you maybe one minute to scan the one you like the most. So it's rather important because we do post a lot of information on uh, the, the admission program, but not only, we do also post a lot of information on the schools. Uh, you will have uh, also student testimonials. So if you're interested into knowing how it's like, uh, once you're admitted into a Paris Tech school, you can of course check our YouTube. You will find all the videos here. But the application, yeah. Um, so in Asia, we don't have this uh, first step as it's written here, except in Asia. So you start with step two, application. First thing is you will have to submit your online application form uh, before September 21. Um, the required documents for the application is a copy of your passport or identification document, an identity photo, a resume, a transcript, uh, of your records uh, translated in English and certified by your university. So we need one for each academic year. Professional project letter. So that's where you explain us why you want to go to a Paritech school and what you want to do uh, in the future. Um, if available official ranking certificates translated in English, stating the total number of students in your department or in your field then uh, foreign language certificates when they're available and at least in English and two letters of recommendation. So that's what you have to provide on the application platform. The second step for you will be the selection procedure and the scientific test. So students who have completed their uh, file, uh, their application uh, will be uh, and are eligible will be asked to take an online scientific test on September 28, 2021. Uh, you can train before or you can have a look at samples of this scientific test, test on the website study with us. The third step will be the interview uh, in October, no November 2021. Um, but only candidates who successfully pass the test will be called to an interview. So if you are successful uh, at the test too, at the interview too, you will need to rank the Paritech schools which are uh, ready to admit you by preference. And last step will be the admission. So that means you will be informed of the outcome of your application and to which Paritech school you have been admitted uh, in November, 2021. And that's when, uh, once you know you've been admitted, you will have to start learning. Uh, French as soon as possible. Um, so here is just another uh, version of the, the calendar. You will find the calendar on the Study With Us website again. So if you um, don't worry too much. The online application uh, for candidates from Indonesia. So you, you will have to go on the application platform and choose that one, other Asian regions and countries. Uh, Indonesia is included in here. Um, concerning tuition fees in our schools, um, you can check the, the, the right side of the, this form. Uh, maybe I will not uh, give a very detailed uh, reading of all the tuition fees. Again, that information is also available on the Study With Us website. So how is it like studying at Paritech? Um, all the Paritech schools provide uh, services for international students uh, that include accommodation. Most schools have accommodation on their campus with uh, very affordable rents. Uh, and there's the possibility also of uh, accommodation allowance by the, the French government for, um, for your rent. 
um, the average cost of living in Paris is around 300 euros a month. Um, then all schools provide assistance with visa procedure, uh, intensive language training programs, uh, mentoring by students and alumni. And you will be able also to actively participate in uh, students' activity in the rich uh, student life in Paris Tech schools. Um, so maybe I will not talk too long about the, the, the potential scholarships that are available. Um, of course, there's the French government scholarships, the Eiffel scholarship or the scholarships of the French embassy. Um, and then later on, uh, we will talk about the scholarship opportunities, uh, more specifically in, in Indonesia. Some of the schools might, so, might also be able to provide uh, scholarships. Uh, I don't know how long it took actually, so that's the last uh, information uh, context. So if you have any question about what I just uh, introduced you, uh, please contact this one, Asia, it's, uh, you asia-admission at paristech.fr, that's the uh, address you should contact. If you want more specifically to contact me or my colleague uh, at the Paris Tech in Asia, we have an office in Shanghai, uh, so you can contact us directly. And if you have questions about the schools, you can, this I will, maybe you can take a screenshot so that you know. So take a screenshot and then if you have any question about uh, a school more specifically, you can directly contact them with this email address. And that's it for my presentation today. Thank you, Mrs. Thank Bidet. You. Thank you for your presentation. Um, I want to remind our participants that uh, they can use the chat box if they want to ask a question. So please do so, don't hesitate. My colleague Hidaya will now uh, give you some information on uh, the scholarships you can apply to. Hidaya, please. Thank you, Ms. Masin. So this is a question that is frequently asked uh, from all of the students in Indonesia on our website and also in our social media. So I will explain about the scholarship opportunity that you can apply for engineering studies in France, especially for the scholarship that is provided by French government and Indonesian government. So if you have any information related to other scholarship that is provided by some enterprises or some private institution, feel free later to consult and to inform your campus France in your area, in your region, to have a further explanation and further accompany for your preparation. So firstly, I will talk about Naval Excellence or Excellence Naval. This is uh, the scholarship that is provided from French government to all of the students all over the world. So it's just now uh, Madame Lorea has explained about the scholarship opportunity for engineering studies by using or by applying for French scholarship that is Naval Excellence. So this scholarship is provided for all of you for your master degree and there are several priority of uh, field of study so there is a law political economic and management as well as engineering studies so for all of you who wants to pursue your master degree in engineering study after you have applied for uh, paritech in several uh, graduate school you can apply for this scholarship so this scholarship is normally I have um, collected the information from 2000 from the registration in 2020. So the scholarship itself it is open in September from the previous year of your study. It means that if you want to pursue your master degree later in 2022 or next year, you need to apply the scholarship in September this year. Uh, so the scholarship will be open from September until January in 2022 and for last year the age 
the age maximum for applying for master degree is 25 years old. It means that you need to be uh, born in 1995, at least. So I don't know, maybe there will be a changes or some modification of the rule of the scholarship in September this year. So uh, feel free to consult in our website in Campus France Indonesia. Uh, here I have just, we have just provided you the link for you to learn about the requirements of the scholarship and what are the documented as well as the benefit. Because actually this scholarship will provide you monthly allowance up to more than 1 million euro, 1,000 euro, I'm sorry. And of course, as well as the RFI ticket and health insurance, also the housing and cultural activities. So. Uh, feel free to read more in our website about this scholarship. To apply for this scholarship, you need to contact Campus France at first because it is different from other scholarship where you need the letter of acceptation first. So you need to explain about your plan to study in certain university to Campus France and later on we will explain about what are the next steps that you need to take. Secondly, so this is the scholarship that is still warm in our mind because it has just been closed into 20th June 2021. So this scholarship is provided for only Indonesian students. So if Apple Excellence, it's, it is provided from French government to all of the students all over the world, but this scholarship, we call it Tiga Skawan or three scholarship for master degree. It is given from French embassy in Indonesia to uniquely, especially for Indonesian student only. So there are three types of the scholarship that you can apply. Firstly, it is Beasiswa from Excellence S2 or uh, from Excellence Scholarship. Actually, this scholarship has been launched for several years, but it's only the name that is changed. This scholarship can be applied for all of the subjects. So uh, just now, uh, we have just seen about the several programs, several fields of study space, several specialty that you can pick in Paritech. So in France Excellence, uh, there is no specific field of study that you can apply. So all of you who has uh, who has um, willingness or has plan to pursue your master degree in several fields, you can pursue or you can apply for this scholarship. So this scholarship is normally open in June. Uh, and actually for these three scholarship, you need the letter of acceptation. So just now I have heard that by November in 2021, you will be having your letter of acceptation from Paritech. So there will be no problem for you to apply for this scholarship. Next on, we'll be having uh, Beasiswa Thematic and Beasiswa Kartini. Thematic and Kartini Science Scholarship, actually it has been launched or it is launched this year. But this is a very first year of the scholarship. It is still young, but we hope that there will be many students or there will be many uh, Indonesian students who will apply for this scholarship. In thematic scholarship or Beasiswa thematic, there are five possible fields of study and one of them is engineering studies. So feel free to contact or to visit our website for the explanation about several or any other uh, field of study that you want to know more. And Kartini Science, Kartini is one of the bigger uh, feminism, we can say, in Indonesia. So this scholarship is pro provided only for women. So if you are a woman and you are interested in science, because just now we have seen that there are also possibility for you to study in Paritech, especially in Shimi Paritech PSL, for example, if you want to learn chemistry, because Kartini Science is provided for the students who want to pursue a woman students who wants to pursue their study in pure science. So there is this possibility for you to apply this scholarship special only for Indonesian students. Because just now we have heard that actually Paritech is not open for all of the for all over the world. The, and Indonesia is one of the specific country that can apply for this, uh, this consortium on this graduate school. And as well as the scholarship, the scholarship is only also provided for Indonesian students. So I have just mentioned about the scholarship given from French government to the students all over the world and to only Indonesian students. The, student is, uh, the scholarship uh, is also special. We call it ISDB or Islamic Development Bank plus French government. 
Lunanem is Islamic. It doesn't mean that only Islamic Islam person can apply for the scholarship. It means there is no boundaries for you to apply for the scholarship. The scholarship is open uh, normally this year. It is open in May. And actually, the scholarship is given to the form of interest-free loan installments. If you need further information about the scholarship, feel free to contact us. And uh, working with French government, you will be having visa for free mon monthly allowance and also fair flight ticket. So this is also possible for you to apply for this scholarship. Next on, this is one of the well-known scholarship in Indonesia. It is provided from LPDP atau, or Lembaga Pengelola Dana Pendidikan. We call it um, Indonesia Endowment Fund for Education. So this scholarship actually only uh, can be applied in the targeted university or choose the chosen university. And several university that is being chosen or being chosen by the Minister of Financial Indonesia is from Paritech. So we have Agro Paritech for Agriculture and Forestry Study. So you may take note for this because uh, it will be really interesting for all of you. So if you are planning to study agriculture and forestry for your master degree, you can apply for Paristech. After that, you can apply for uh, LPDP scholarship because this scholarship actually has a lot of benefits and uh, you need to, I can say that you need to pay nothing for your study. And next on, we have also uh, Paris Saint-Élève or PSL University. There are three uh, graduate schools or three programs that you can apply in PSL. And this, uh, the, the interesting fact is from PSL actually you can apply the scholarship or LPDP scholarship for, for all of the subject. So there is no limit for your field of study. It means that if you want to study, for example, for example chemistry in Shimi Paritech, so you can apply for this scholarship. So for three, uni for three graduate school that you can apply from PSL is Shimi Paritech, Min Paritech, uh, also um, SPCI Paritech. So this, we have just listened and we have just learned about the explanation about the several formation or several fields of study that you can take in this program. So because the program in PSL itself, it is open for all fields of study. So this is, this will be a big opportunity for you to apply as well. So to conclude, there are several types of scholarship, firstly from French government, all of Indonesia, to all of the students all over the world, only for ind Indonesian students, and only the, the uh, country that is working with Islamic Development Bank, Indonesia is one of them. And this is from Indonesian government. If you just uh, to remind you, if you have any information about the scholarship that is provided by your enterprises or private institution, feel free to contact us. And just to add a little information, actually, for, for example, like beasiswa uh, Francis Salong is beasiswa Thematic and Faculty Science. One of the benefit of this scholarship is your tuition fee, and the tuition fee limit for the uh, the program itself, it is 5,000 euro. And we have just uh, seen the price or the tuition fee that we need to pay to Paritech and it is less than 5,000 euro. So uh, it means that you don't need to pay your tuition fee if you are accepted to the scholarship. So that's all my information about the scholarship. Feel free to contact us via WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, web, our website, and you can contact us to prepare your study in France. And I will give the platform again to Mas Masin Talib to lead uh, the discussion, because I've seen that there are a lot of questions related to study in Paritech. Mas Masin, the platform is yours again. Thank you, Hidayah. Uh, yeah, I think it's time for a Q&A session now. Uh, let's start with a question from Chef Amir Arasi, uh, asking if it's possible to study at Paritech only for a year. So if you've already completed four years in Indonesia, can you study at Paritech for one year only? 
it's I don't know if I will answer for my colleagues, maybe. Uh, I think it doesn't matter. I mean, typically students would apply it within their fourth year of bachelor degree, but it doesn't mean that if you apply after obtaining your bachelor degree, you will cut on the last year for the engineering degree. So you can apply, but you will still have to go through the two years. Uh, the only problem might be that um, it's, how to say, the students applying now will go on to study in France in 2022. So it means that they should obtain their bachelor degree uh, next year. So they will have no gap actually between the moment they're admitted, they obtain their bachelor degree and they go to France. But it might be more problematic if right now you're in the last year of your bachelor degree, you're applying, it means that next year uh, you're not studying while waiting to be admitted at the graduate school. But you still have to do the two years. But oh, you can take oh. that year, that gap year, as an opportunity to intensively study French as well. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it might be a good opportunity. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, about that actually. So we had a, a question by uh, Poggy and uh, answer by Shimi Paritek about uh, the French language. So basically, I think mm -hmm. a lot of students are anxious about uh, learning French. Mm -hmm. So can we just uh, go through what, what is needed? So what is needed to apply? What French le uh, level is needed to apply? And then mm -hmm. what French level is uh, needed to when, when you arrive in France? And then so after the you, one, yeah. When you apply, you need zero level of French because the whole procedure is entirely in English. The application form is in English, the test is in English, the interview can be done in English, uh, everything can be done in English. Of course, if you speak French very fluently, you can also say, I wanna take the interview in French if you feel very comfortable. But uh, other than that, you can do it all in English. It's only once you're admitted, as I said, uh, by uh, late November, you know if you're admitted in a school or not. And then that's the moment when you have to start learning French. And it gives you a bit more seven months to study French before you go to France. Uh, and usually the level that's required by the schools before you start your study in September is B1, except for one school that asks for B2 level. Uh, Arimitia asks for B2 level. But other than that, it's B1. Uh, and then most of the schools during the summer before you go to France, uh, after obtaining your bachelor degree, your visa, and going to France, most of the school provide uh, intensive French courses during the summer. Um, so it gives you another opportunity before you the, the start of the school year to, to obtain a sufficient level of French. But we've been doing it, uh, just talking from experience, we've been recruiting Chinese students uh, since uh, it's the 20, 20, 21 promotion of Chinese students. Uh, none of them, most of them uh, didn't speak French before they go to, to, to France. And it's never, once admitted by a school, uh, admitted to a school, it's never, French has never been the, a major issue. So you should feel confident about learning sufficient French in seven to eight months. Okay, so don't worry. Mm, shouldn't worry too much. The, the, it's, how to say, first step is to be admitted. Then you can worry about uh, learning French. <laughs> okay. And then, so you just told us that the selection uh, process is fully in English. So yeah. uh, what is the recommended uh, certification of English? Is it IELTS or TOEFL? And then um, what's the minimum score you have to get? There's no, um, there's no minimum. I mean, the minimum required is the minimum that allows you to understand the questions that are asked and that allows you to take the test, but there is no per se a specific level of English that's asked of you. I mean, if, we, if my colleagues do the interview and you cannot understand any question, that's problematic. If you take the test and you can't read the question, that's problematic. But other than that, there's no specific requirement for the English level. But, but for a graduation, they, they have to, to reach a certain yeah. level during their stay in France. At the beginning, there is no requirement, but for the graduation, after the two years, they have to, to reach a certain level, yeah. 
which is specific for each uh, school. Okay. Uh, and, and by the way, is it possible to find all the specific information about each school directly on their website? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, we have a question from Wisnu. Wisnu who's asking, I'm interested in getting into chemical engineering. So where do I go for the best, Chimie Paritech or Min Paritech? Okay, so I want to extend uh, <laughs> on, on this question because I think uh, some students are anxious about where to go, depending mm. on the specialty. Mm. So can you just explain uh, a little bit about this, where to yeah. go? Oh. But first of all, I should I just I should say that all Paritech schools are the best in their specialty. Well, Min is not here today, so if you could, <laughs> I will let Fiti answer for. You know, so the, 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 the two schools providing uh, chemistry curricula are Shimi Paritech and Respeci. Respeci is physics and chemistry. Chimie Paritech is only related to chemistry, and both of them are offering programs in chemistry, full programs in chemistry. Mean Paritech is a little bit far from that, okay? They have some, some uh, specialized master degree, which is not the engineering degree, but uh, the best, not the best one, but the, the schools offering chemistry are Chimie Paritech and SPCI. And then it depends on how the students are willing to, to build their uh, personal, uh, professional program and uh, project. And then we can discuss. And the interview are, the interviews are mainly made in order to specify this type of questions and help the students to have a better idea about the schools and to which one they have to say yes or no at the end of the, of the process. Okay, um, thank you. Um, uh, Chef Amir has another question on the um, scholarships. So she says, uh, for, for a woman, a uh, 32-year-old woman uh, studying engineering, uh, what scholarship can be recommended at a master for a master degree? So, Masin, maybe I will explain about the scholarship opportunity. Okay. So, if you are 22 years old, uh, actually, I have just asked the question in what level to be exact. Is it for master or doctorate degree? Because there will be the difference. But for Eval Excellence, uh, for master degree, the age maximum is 25. And for the scholarship from France Excellence or French government, French embassy, uh, will be uh, for 30 years old students for master degree. Uh, one of the things that is possible for you is to apply for LPDP because I have just learned that for LPDP uh, or LPDP, it, uh, for master degree, the maximum age is 35. So you can uh, learn about the possibility of the scholarship in LPDP. And I will share with you the link of all the possible scholarship that you can apply by our shortened link, you call it bit.ly, and I will share it in chat. That's from me. Thank you, Hidayah. Uh, and to continue about the scholarships, a question from Nimas. Uh, is it possible to study at a doctoral level? And uh, if, if yes, uh, is there any scholarship from uh, Paris Tech schools? <laughs> I will let the, the schools answer. <laughs> so it depends on the schools. Okay. Uh, we, we, are, we are trying to build programs to offer scholarship. For, but for instance, at Chimi Paritech, for example, we don't have a special offer for scholarships, but we are building now, we are starting building programs. So maybe you will be ready for 2022. But for instance, uh, the the scholarships are those uh, presented earlier, and the FL scholarship is one of the best tools that we are using, for instance. I, I might also want to add that the, the PhD program in France 
is not a, at least in physics, chemistry, engineering, it's not a program that you register and then see what it will happen. Okay, it means that you already have a, a, a thesis advisor and that you have already a research program here. You cannot enter, start courses and then find an advisor. No, there are no courses. You enter, you hit the, the ground running from the first day. So uh, most of the things happen outside the institution. Basically, the contacts with you, your advisor, eventually, if it's a joint degree, you, your local advisor in Indonesia, your advisor in France, and then from that point, they move on to the institutional level. It's a bottom-up approach. It's not uh, something that the institution will give for you, and then we'll find you a thesis, okay? Okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Lobo. Thank you, Mr. Bediwi. Um, a question from uh, Febri. Febri is asking, um, is Paritech more focused on the practical professional uh, side or more into the heavy research uh, side? And she believes that it's more practical. Uh, on both, as Laura showed, uh, 10 to 70% of our students uh, continue a PhD program. This means that the formation that we have is also aiming to have a very high level in fundamental and theoretical and uh, academic research. So uh, our, 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 uh, our system is really uh, made in order to have the high, very level in science, depending on the specialty and up to 70% of our students, it depends on the schools, uh, pursue PhD program later. So it's about application, development, and also fundamental and academic research. Thank you. Um, Shelin is asking, um, is it required to have an excellent level in mathematics and physics for uh, all majors, including if you're majoring, for example, in economics? That's what I said during the presentation. If you're a major in economics, we don't expect you to be a top student in physics or chemistry. But <laughs> with the strong advice we have if you're a student in economics and you apply to the Paritech program is that your level in mathematics is excellent. You should be a top student in, top student in mathematics. OK. Um... So all schools uh, uh, require the students to uh, do an internship, right? Uh, and this internship can be done in France, but can also can it also be done uh, in Europe and uh, outside Europe? It depends on the school. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> for, for Chimie Parité, for example, they have to be done in France, since we, we are really trying to have students to have the French culture, the French way of education, and to make them very tightly linked to the company, the international French companies. Okay. So again, it depends on the school. Yeah. Okay. Yes, if I may add uh, something, uh, it depends on the school, and usually we advise the, the international students to do at least one internship in a French company, at least to or French lab to, to discover uh, the local uh, environment. But uh, also it will, uh, international students, especially from Indonesia, so outside of Europe, will have to, to take into account the, the visa issue. You must uh, make sure that you, you are able to come back to, to France to resume your studies. Uh, if you're doing an internship uh, between two years at the Paritech schools, obviously, uh, if you go out of Europe, uh, you, may, you have to make sure that your visa is still uh, valid to re-enter Europe. And it might be problematic for some uh, scholarships too, because sometimes when you have governmental scholarships, mm -hmm. I don't know in China it works like that, but I don't know in Indonesia, some of the scholarships do not allow you to, to go somewhere else. Yeah, to stay in the country for which you receive the, the scholarship. Okay, thank you. Um, I have two questions on the logistics side. So first question, uh, do students have to pay for applying uh, to Paritech International Admission Program? 
No. No, okay. No. So nice. That's very nice. Yeah, it's nice. So if someone, if a comes, to, uh, no, no, a company contacts you and says you should pay me that much to apply to the Paris Tech International Admission Program, it's a scam because you can do it by yourself and for free. <laughs> All right. And, uh, and, and and the application is easy. Nobody, you don't need any help to do it. Okay? Yeah, it's not yeah. a complex thing. No. All right. Um, second question, do you assist international students to find accommodation in France? Yes. Yes. Oh. All, All right. the schools do the same. Yeah. It doesn't depend on the school for the question. <laughs> yeah, but we do it according to our own way, but we do it, yeah. Okay. All the schools keep in touch with the students as soon as they are selected. So they will not be lost during the seven months uh, between the se final selection and the beginning of the studies. They will be in touch with the, the, the school and they will have all the answers related to their questions. Okay. Yes, international students have a priority for a student accommodation in the school generally. Okay. Uh, Pogi is asking again on the internship, uh, does the university, does the school uh, help the students find an employer or no? That's because of the school have very strong links with companies yeah. and because you have a lot of uh, alumni helping or other students helping and because you will be in contact with the companies during your studies, usually it's pretty easy for students to find an internship. Um, okay. And well, uh, I don't think that the question is very clear. I mean, we do help you and we guide you and we can give you uh, companies to do your internship. Okay, you don't have to hunt for that yourself unless you want to, but we have services that will provide you that. Then once you're graduated, we, we don't have an employer service to, to, to find you a job but we expect you to have made contacts and have bound with, uh, with the companies that you have touched throughout your scholar training to do that. And then the alumni can also help a lot. Okay. And, and it's also possible to do more than one internship, right? Or again, more. On the school. more than uh, one internship. Can you do two? Depends on the school. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, it depends on the school, but I can tell for ESPCI where two internships are mandatory, but one is in the industry, the other one is in a research, in academic research lab. Okay, so you cannot do two in the industry. You cannot do two in the academic research lab. It's one in each. Okay. And the same for Shemi Uh and then again, I see in the questions uh, coming uh, again and again, the word university instead of school. So uh, can, um, can you explain what a grand école is and what's the difference between a grand école and um, a traditional Anglo-Saxon university? Other than we are better. <laughs> <laughs> in the selection program, the selection way, how the students will uh, will reach our institutions. This is the main difference. The students uh, go through very high uh, selection rate as it was shown by Laura and only maybe zero point, at least 1% of the, of the students enter the Paritech schools through this. Yeah, to, to, this to, elaborate, yeah, to elaborate a little bit on that, I mean, historically it dates from the French Revolution and separating the church from the universities. Okay, so the Grandes Ecoles were boosted at the time so that it was not at the hands of the church. Uh, today, the major difference is that once you finish high school, you have a national exam, and that if you have half of the grade in that national exam, 50% of the grade, you are entitled to a place in a university, period. That, that's it, the government allows you to go to the university and they have to find you a place. Maybe not in the one you want, maybe not the major you want. If you don't want to go to the university, you stay in high school for another two years to do a college level training, in our case, in physics, math, and chemistry, but if it's humanities, it will be in French and English and whatever. 
And then once you finish those two years, you have a competitive examination. It's not that you do those two years and then you are entitled to place into the Grandes Ecole. You have a competitive examination on only the, and then you're ranked and only the top ranked one will enter the engineering schools. The ones who fail that examination, they can go to college, to the university at a later stage, not the first year of college, but the, the, the second or third year, I don't remember exactly, okay? So today the major difference is that it's extremely selective to enter the, 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 the engineering school, much more selective than to enter college. And also you will be very good accompanied in a school. In the, the university is very huge mm. uh, instead of, uh, but the school, they are small. And if you have difficulties uh, in learning, mm -hmm. uh, the teachers will be uh, here to support you. The, student, the other students will support you also. You will, you will have some help if you need it. So it's very important also. And the strong link with the companies, the, the link with the companies are not so strong at the universities. Uh, if I may come back to the, to the question, how does it compare to the traditional or usual uh, Anglo-Saxon uh, universities? Uh, we can say that maybe Grand École are kind of uh, honors school, uh, honors program within a uh, university. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I see that time, time is running out. So Just one final yeah. detail because before we forget. Today, all, most, maybe all, but most at least, uh, schools are have some ties to one of the big universities in France. So for instance, Chimie, Paris Tech, uh, ourselves, and uh, Ecole des Mines, they are tied to PSL University. That's why you see PSL in our names. Institut d'Optique, I think it's Paris Saclay, right, Pierre? Yeah, so we have, we have ties and we have access to those larger universities uh, structures. So we have, I hope we have the best of both words, not the worst of both words, but. Uh... Okay, thank you. Uh, thank, thanks everyone. Uh, so I think it's time to uh, close this uh, Q&A session. Uh, if you have any more questions, I think you can contact um, uh, Campus France, Indonesia. You can contact Mrs. Villette or Mrs. Chen for Paris Tech or directly the schools. Um, I will give the floor to Hidaya one last time uh, to give us some final words. Thank Hidaya. you very much, uh, Mastin, and thank you very much for all the representative of Paris Tech that has given a clear introduction and a clear presentation of each graduate school. And this is a great opportunity for all of you to prepare your study and to prepare your uh, master degree in 2022. So if Campus France, we have two strongs as our word to uh, attract the students in Indonesia. And the thing that is interested uh, is the website of Paris Tech itself as to study with us. So uh, feel free to ask more to us and to Paritech and also to visit the website itself in studywithus.paritech.fr. Sorry, I need to mix my English and my French. So yeah, feel free also to contact us to further information about your application in Paritech. So I will uh, try to conclude a little about uh, the program that we have just and the presentation that we have just had the, this afternoon, afternoon in Indonesia and morning in France, of course. So one of the things that attract me most is uh, Paritech has 100% employability. So this is one of the things that you need to know because it means that all of the graduated students from this uh, consortium of this graduates graduated they are uh, they have the opportunity they have 100 opportunity to be selected or to to work and uh, or to have a professional uh, experiences of course next on there is only less than one person if I'm not mistaken less than one person of the person that can uh, be submitted or can be uh, 
yes, that can be accepted to this program. It means that you need to be a very top student and you need to be having a very top preparation. So it, it is not only because you want, then you can apply, but it needs uh, preparation. And next on, you don't need to have a French the uh, diploma or French certificate to apply for this for this opportunity or this unit this graduate school, because most of the program in France, especially in the university, it is it is obligated that you have a certificate of Delft. But in Paris Tech, you will be having a preparator a, a preparate class of French letter before you started your class. If you have no any uh, any fluency in French. So next on, there are a lot of notable alumni and the alumni that has Nobel Prizes from this university. I mean, like uh, this is a very, from this graduate school, it's, I mean, it means that this is a very uh, rare opportunity for you to learn directly in the, in the school where there are uh, notable alumni. And uh, Yes, there are a lot of opportunity for you, not only in engineering, because there are several uh, fields of study that you can apply as well for Paritech. And it is not that you apply in Paritech, you can apply for such or uh, any type of field study, but you can apply directly to Paritech. And after that, they will give you the best shot or the field that is suitable for you. And uh, I think that's all from my conclusion. Uh, for further information, you can contact us and contact uh, Paritech, of course. And I'll, at last, I want to thank you for all the participants from Indonesia, from France, and all over the world that has been with us today to listen our presentation. And I hope that, of course, you will contact us and help for the preparatory program for your master's degree in 2022. For all the representatives that has given your time to explain up to all in all of Indonesian students, just like Anita said just now that this is our first time to introduce the university, the graduate school and the institution in France that is being listed and being chosen as one of the a university that can be applied for LPDP scholarship, an uh, Indonesian scholarship, Indonesian government scholarship that is very well known is here in Indonesia. And of course, my colleague Mas, Masin Talib that has led the presentation really well today. I hope that you will be having a very great day and during this uh, health situation. I hope that all of you will be in a health condition. And of course, lastly, thank you very much and see you on France. Au revoir, au revoir. Au revoir.